there are five parameters that you should have in every single Power BI file that you create. What are those? Well, today, me, Chris Wagner, I'm gonna show you, the viewer, what those five parameters are. Let's get into it. I hit the wrong button, didn't I? I gotta do, there we go. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that stuff. If you want early access to this content for five bucks, become a member, you get access to this content for everyone else. All right, there are five parameters that you should have as part of every Power BI file. I'm gonna show you what those five are, all right? So we're gonna go up and I'm gonna just show them as part of my, part of my content. Number one, that's your server, okay? This is gonna be the, the server string that you're gonna use for your connections that connect you to uh, you know, any given database, okay? You're not gonna include the database name in it. It's gonna be a separate I object, okay? So you, it's gonna be server, it's gonna be capital S, you're gonna use that. Uh, that. This will allow you to programmatically switch and define different servers that you're connected to through dev, test, and prod. It makes it much more flexible when it comes to like, oh, I gotta move a server, then it's just your configuration, you're configuring a parameter. Um, th like, this is a must have, okay? Number two, you're gonna have database, okay? So the database is going to be exactly that. What database are you connecting to, uh, you know, from the, the, the server that you're connecting to, okay? Keep them separate because you kind of define them separately in a couple of different places inside of Power Query and in your connection strings. It just, it's gonna make your life a lot easier if you've separated these out. So server and database separate it out. That's gonna be your basic top two items that you're gonna have. The number three and four are gonna be linked as well, okay? So number three and four is gonna be range start and range end. Please note, it is range, capital R-A-N-G-E, start, capital S-T-A-R-T, as well as uh, range end, capital R-A-N-G-E, capital E-N-D, okay? The reason why these are specific and they have to be they have to be these values, range start and range end, is because these are keywords inside of Power BI that allow for user allow for the service to do incremental refreshes. Okay. We've covered that in a different video and, and we'll talk about it, but this is something you just just start with these parameters in your Power BI file and you're gonna be off to the races. You're gonna be set up good. Okay. Now like I said, it does have to be capital R, capital S, capital R, capital E on these uh, on range start and range end. This is it's very specific. Make sure you get this right. All right, and then the last one, and this is going to be really common. Um, uh, we're going to use this in all sorts of different places, and you may find yourself actually repeating this one and and, and creating many of these, but. This is for any API or URL that you're gonna to connect to. I just call mine API. You can kind of call it whatever you want. But this is where you you put things like you'd stick in that, uh, the location of an Excel file or CSV file that you're uploading from Teams or whatnot. This will make it really easy for you if you all of a sudden have to change where that file is. You can just go ahead and you can just update this file and or update this this parameter and you're good to go. Bonus points, you can actually, you can create out like a file name as well. So you can use the API as well as the file name, concatenate it in Power Query and you can, you can do that type of a thing. Uh, I don't do it, I just use the simplified uh, URL string and I just try to keep it simple for those types of simple ad hoc reports. Okay, so those five again, really quick, server, database, range start, range end, and API. Those are all of the things that parameter wise you should have inside your reports. Uh, it just makes it much easier for you to access, use, and manage your Power BI content. All right, what other, uh, whatever parameters do you use? Uh, let me know in the links and comments down below. Uh, if you found this useful, 
you know, you know, share this with your friends, family, all that good stuff. Membership's a thing. Uh, I'm also, uh, now I'm on TikTok, so I'm trying to make a press on there. So uh, if you're a TikTok person, head over to TikTok and like and subscribe to my content there. There will be exclusive TikTok content that's going to be uh, out and available on that service. So, uh, you know, don't want to miss out. You guys have the best day ever. Peace. All right, I get it. This is a lot. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. This can be a lot for you. If you want help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on the I need some help button. Myself or a colleague will reach out to you. We'll get you on the calendar right away. You know, we're pretty busy, but you know what? We always got time for you. So <laughs> let them know that Kratos BS sent you, all right? But if you think you can do it, and I've got faith in you, check out this video or this video, and uh, uh, you, you know, enjoy. Ha, ha, ha.